Hi everybody, it's your girl Ina, and it's been a while since I've made a video and I don't have my little holder thing. I'm downstairs and I can't go upstairs right now. And you'll, you'll see why in just a second. And I look like I'm naked, I'm not, I have a dress on. Um, so I am here in Oberville at our house. It is hotter than hell here. Finally summer hit us. We had a very rainy and chilly and cold springtime, but now summer's here. So the weather outside is nice and hot and sunny. And um, the reason I haven't made a video is I have been super busy with work. Um, busy at work and busy with lots of appointments and things and we're still in basketball season so we're still in the playoffs which is crazy to be playing basketball in middle of june it's hot as hell in the gym with a mask on nonetheless um but i wanted to make a quick video because we have a little bit of news to share with everybody i hope that i'm not covering up the microphone uh, we have some news to share with everybody so last thursday i was sitting in my my swimming pool and um i get a message from a friend of mine named isabel and she said Hey, I just heard about a puppy in Oberville that needs a home. He's staying, he's, he had to be taken out of a couple of homes and he's actually at the vet in the same village where I live. Like, would you be interested in meeting him? And I was like, of course I want to, I want to meet, I mean, he's in Oberville, he's right in my town. Of course I'd like to go meet him. And um, so then, then actually my friend Isabel called me and then, um, Bettina was like, no, no way, no way, no way, no way, no way. I'm not over Jeffrey. And I'm, I'm not over Jeffrey yet. I mean, Jeffrey, we had him for 18 years. I mean, Jeffrey is, there's a hole that Jeffrey left that will never be filled, not by any person or any dog. He was just something special. But I mean, what do they say in plural marriages? <laughs> love multiplies. I was like, I still have love in my heart. Of course I still miss Jeffrey, but I still have love in my heart. And um, so I'm like, well, I'm going to go meet them. Patina was like, absolutely no way. She had like a stress attack. She was like, no. So I called up, so my friend called the vet and the vet's like, oh wait, I'm in Patina. I know them. My kids go to their school. So like the lady knew us, the vet already knew us. So she was like, sorry, I'm holding my phone. Um, the vet already knew us and she's like, yeah, tell her to come by and meet the dog. So that was last Thursday. So on Friday, I made an appointment to go out there after work and meet this little puppy. So... I go in there, they put me in like one of the, the examination rooms at the vet thing, and I'm sitting in there, and then they open up the door, and this ball of happiness, Rocky, look at him, he, he, he responds, he hangs on my every word, this little ball of happiness, sweet, cuddly, heavy muscle head fatso, comes lumbering over to me with his big hands, his big head, big ears, and he just came over to me, jumped in my lap, was kissing me all over the face, and he is just a ball of love. I swear to you, he is the sweetest thing. I mean, he looks like he wants to kick somebody's ass, but he's the sweetest thing. So I was like, oh my God, he's so sweet. And then I said, can I take him home just to go play in my garden a little bit? I mean, no commitment. Can I just take him home to play? And they were like, yeah, we're open till six, take him home. So I took him home. This was like a little bit before three. And of course he ran next door, my in-laws are next door. He ran next door, Bettina was next door. And he just said hello to everybody, gave everybody kisses. And, and he's just, oh my God, he's such a sweet, such a sweetheart. Um, and so Bettina's like, no, no, I don't want to talk to him. I don't want to know. Nah, 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 nah. And I was like, but I kind of know her pretty well after all these years. And I'm like, she's going to warm up to him. Just let me, you know, give her a little bit. So I was outside playing with him. And then like, he is like, as if I would have told him what to do. He kept coming inside and like putting his head on her and his big, big face and big ears, putting his head on her and like giving her kisses and saying hello. And she was like, don't talk to me. And then, then he would come back outside and play with me. He was still a little bit like, I'm not sure what was going on because he had never been here before. Like now he's a while, but, um, and um, so little by little, so it's three o'clock, then it's four o'clock, then it's five o'clock. So little by little, she starts warming up to him. And then she just picks him up and goes next door to her parents. I guess she wanted to see what her parents thought because it does take a village, especially if both of us work full time and we have our hobbies and stuff like we will need some help sometimes with him um, if we were to take him. And our parents were like, he's awesome. Like, take him. Like, so Bettina came back and she's like, okay, call the vet and tell, tell them that um, you're not going to bring him back. See if we can just keep him for the weekend. So I was like, okay. So I called up the vet and I was like, is it possible that we keep him for the weekend? And, um, and she was like, yeah, sure, of course you can. Like, I guess they wouldn't have done that if the head vet lady didn't know who we were, like her kids are at our school. So 
because they knew who we were, like they let us take him home or let it, let us keep him. And so Bettina said, okay, I'm gonna go to the store and get some dog food. She came back with a bed, a dog bed, toys, dog food, a new collar, leash, like whatever. So I was like, yeah, I got her. Um, so we kept him for the weekend. Okay, he does still have some accents. We're actually his fourth home. Um, he was removed from his first home, which we don't wanna talk about that. And then his second home, because he, he's so chill, like he's so, I, he's like this, not all the time, but he's just so chill. They placed him with an elderly couple who, I guess they didn't have a garden. I don't know, I'm kind of making that part up because I'm not really sure. Um, and they said they couldn't handle him. So I'm assuming they didn't have a garden for him to go run him because he can go outside and play whenever he wants. Um, so they gave him up. So then he was living with the vet tech from the vet's office. And so we're actually his fourth home. Um, and so we kept him for the weekend. I'm forgetting which parts of the story I told already. We kept him for the weekend. And then I took him to school on Monday because it's important to me to see how he would be with my kids because I would have to take him to work with me. He, he's a puppy. I can't leave him home by himself. And I swear to God, if there was ever a dog made for for kids, it's this guy. They like one pull on his ear. Well, they're old. My kids are older. They wouldn't like hurt him. But you know, they're all want to touch him and cuddle him and pick him up and play with his hands and play with his ears and play with his face. And he was just like, okay, like didn't snip nothing just loves the kids like when I take him out of my car he runs I don't always work in the same building like my classroom and my office are in two different buildings he runs to the classroom he wants to go in there he wants to be with the kids the whole time he's just perfect 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 little puppy well he's not little he's a big boy um he weighs almost 30 pounds um but he sleeps through the night he sleeps downstairs by himself we said because Jeffrey always slept in the bed with us we said okay we're not gonna let bring him up to the bed um so he sleeps downstairs by himself doesn't cry nothing he's completely fine um you have to take him to, out to go to the bathroom as soon as he gets up otherwise he has he has accidents but um and he eats all his food and i taught him a ton of tricks uh, he's calm now so i'm not gonna bother him but i taught him a ton of tricks maybe i'll make a video of that next ton of tricks he's a french bulldog smartest dog i ever saw in my whole life he already can do like sit twirl around one way twirl around the other way stand up on his hind legs lay down he can do a figure eight between my legs look he learned so fast so anyway we went on Tuesday, a couple days ago, and we signed the contract, which means technically he's not ours, ours yet. Um, we have a, a 30 day trial period, like that we have to, you know, they have to be sure that we're gonna take care of him. Um, and then we had to say that if anything happens, we give him back because I guess these dogs are pretty expensive. And if we were jerks, we would take him and sell him, but we're not gonna sell him, he's so sweet. Um, so yeah, he's a little bit of a handful, I have to say. He's a little bit of a handful and he can be a little bit stubborn. And his poops, not to talk about poop on a video, but his poops are a little bit different than Jeffrey's poops. Jeffrey's poops were like little Tootsie Rolls. This boy, it's like elephant crap. Anyway, so he's with us now and his name is Rocky. His middle name is Jeffrey, Rocky Jeffrey in honor of our Jeffrey, who we still miss. Uh, Nicosia Shelker, so the same last name that we have, and he's kind of ours, and we, we love him very much. So that's the news of what's going on here. I didn't want to put anything on Facebook till we got the contract signed and everything and see how all that went. Um, but yeah, so we've got a new puppy, and I want to show you his face. Rocky! Everyone says he doesn't look like a puppy. He looks like he's older, but he's still got his baby teeth. So um, he's six months old. He actually might be younger than that because he came from Czech. Um, Czech and um, they think that he, they sent him over before he was ready to be, like before he was old enough to be adopted. So he might even be younger than that. But that's our little ball of joy, our little happy boy. And he likes to go in a swimming pool with mommy and he likes to eat and he likes to do tricks and he's just the best. Anyway, so that's my news. We've got a puppy and I'm sure I'm going to be making videos about him because he's the cutest damn thing I ever saw. Um, so that's the big news. Rocky's part of the family and talk to you all soon. Bye. Bye.